With the 10 of 43 version, Microsoft has introduced a new user security governance framework in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. This framework ensures compliance, enhances security, optimizes license usage, and improves efficiency by aligning security measures with business processes and managing user role effectively. The user security governance features initially developed as an ISV solution by Executive Automates are now part of the standard solution in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. In the next couple of videos, I will explore and demonstrate its features and benefits. Stay tuned. In the 10 of 43 version, user security governance is available in preview. To access it, you need to enable it from feature management. Once enabled, new menu items will appear under the security section in the system administration module within a new segment called security governance. There are a couple of things Microsoft has introduced under the security governance, which is security process role maintain, security analysis, license usage summary, security category, user activity edging, security versions, role audit trail, temporary role management, roles violating segregation of duties rules, privileged user management, and everything is in preview in 1043 version. We will explore all of this, but we will take our time to understand each one in detail. In this lesson, we will talk about this user activity aging. This user activity aging, basically the aging of users activity. Like an example, Karthik has logged in how many times in two days, in 15 days, in 30 days or in 45 days. And if I scroll right, in last 20 days. In short, this is the aging of users activity count in days. The good thing about this aging bucket is these are all configurable. If I go to system admin module, if I go to security governance setup, this is a new form. Under this there will be parameter. Under parameter, we will talk about this later on with this uh, other features. But for this user activity aging, we need to go to user aging periods. And from here, we can add like period 1, say I will change it to 5, period 2, I will change it to 15, period 3, I will keep it 30, period 40, period 4, I will keep it 60 and 180 plus. I will save it. I'll again, go to the user activity aging form now you will notice the aging was previously 2 days 10 days now it is 5 days 15 days count 30 days count 60 days count and 180 days count so in short this user activity aging report is activity count in the aging days